The police are trying to figure out who hacked into hundreds of accounts at the Quincy Credit Union. The credit union says 670 accounts were compromised. It's not sure how many customers had money stolen. The police we spoke with had between 200, the people we spoke with, pardon, had between 200 and 1,200 dollars taken. And police believe the hackers used a skimming device, which is placed on an ATM. That's a common tool for thieves, but one that will soon be obsolete as Catherine Hauser shows us. This was a common sight at the mall this holiday season, inserting a credit card instead of swiping it. This is the most significant upgrade to the payments infrastructure in our country in the 40-year history of the credit card. All credit and debit cards are in the process of being replaced with your personal information encoded in a chip instead of on a magnetic strip. These so-called EMV cards will allow for safer transactions. Every time you use your card, that chip that's embedded in the card is going to generate a new security code that will not be repeated again when you use that card the next time. That means no more skimming when a fake reader like this, found in a Falmouth ATM this past fall, is installed over a legitimate system to steal personal information as a card is being swiped. A criminal also positions a pinhole camera to get video as a password is being typed on the keypad. Local uh, street gangs to, you know, major organized uh, international uh, crime ranks. Cambridge detective Brian O'Connor specializes in financial crimes and has seen skimming explode in recent years. I'm sure once EMV uh, is fully rolled out, um, you will see a decline in um, ATM skimming. That's the good news. The bad news is that we're still a few years away from this new system being fully up to speed. Right now, it's estimated 25% of cards have the EMV chip. That number is expected to jump to 73% next year and 96% by 2017. It's a very exciting development. I'm Katherine Hauser, WBZ News.